Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install the OneDrive cloud syncing application for macOS. So this is going to work on your Mac and it's going to allow you to download and install your Microsoft applications onto your Mac computer. So I'm going to leave a link to this software. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for this web address and you're going to click on download in order to download the OneDrive installer. So click on this and then we're going to put this into our downloads folder in Finder. So we're going to go into Finder here and then we'll go to our downloads folder, click on this. So once the application has downloaded, we're going to go into Finder. I want to go into our downloads folder and we're going to find the OneDrive.pkg, which we're going to double click on. And once we've double clicked, we're going to go through the install wizard here. So we're just going to press continue and we're going to install for all users of this computer and we're going to press install. Here it's asking for a password, just type that in and press install software. Here it's saying the installation was successful, press close. We're going to press keep and now OneDrive has installed. So we're going to go to our finder, then we'll click on applications. We're going to scroll down until we find the OneDrive application. So here is OneDrive, we're going to double click. And it might take a few seconds, but it's going to appear on your menu bar up here. So here it's asking for notifications. If you want to add notifications, we can change the settings here. If for some reason it doesn't pop up again, just go back to Finder, double click OneDrive again to open this up. Now it's saying set up OneDrive. So now it's saying set up OneDrive. So you want to go ahead and type in your Microsoft account. So if you don't have one already, you can just go ahead and create one here. But you want to be using your existing one if you want to take advantage of cloud storage. So just type in your email address and then click sign in. Here on the privacy notice, we're going to press next. Here we can choose whether to send optional data and then press accept. Here we're going to place our OneDrive folder. This is by default going to go into our user folder, press next. Here we're going to press finish setting up. So here OneDrive wants access to the documents folder, press OK. Press OK to give it access to desktop. Here we're going to press next and then press OK again, and then next, then next, and then next. And here we're going to press later. And here it's saying OneDrive is getting ready. And here all my folders are being synchronized over. We can click on this and then click on the settings and preferences and we can change any of these settings here. It's basically basically going to be located on the top of this bar here and it's going to synchronize all of my existing cloud storage. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.